you've ever had to update your ESCs like I did, you will have to probably cut the heat shrink off of them and then you can reapply new heat shrink. I'll show you what I do to label my ESCs after I remove the heat shrink and apply new heat shrink. In my word processor I create a table, take the old label and copy the name of the ESC and the amperage. When I cut the heat shrink off I look at what uh, microcontroller it has and some have Scilab, some have an Amtel and then uh, I look up in BL Heli and Simon K to see whether this particular ESC is even compatible with that firmware. When I flash it with uh, BL Heli or Simon K I'll put that I it has BL Heli flashed on it or it has Simon K flashed on it and what firmware is flashed on it like the Turnergy Plush 40 main or the TP NFET firmware or the TGY hex or the super simple firmware. Then I take my calipers and measure the width of the ESC and they're usually between 22 and 24 millimeters and I make the table uh, the width of that. So this is equal to 22 millimeters. 0.86 inches is 22 millimeters. So I print it out on a piece of paper and then I'll cut these out. So I have a Dynam Detrim 40 amp ESC which has an Amtel MCU with Simon K and a TP NFET firmware flash to it. So here's the old heat shrink that I had to cut off to get to these six programming pads and solder wires on there and flash it with a USB ASP tool. You can buy this heat shrink off of eBay I bought like uh, four foot for $15, and you can do about a dozen ESCs with this. So you cut it to about the same length, a little bit overlap, a few millimeters on the top and bottom. Place it on there, take a heat gun, when it starts to shrink up like this, right, like right now, flip it over, try not to let it move. Do the other side to keep the gun moving. You don't want to heat it up too much in one spot. And let this cool off completely before you clean it off because it's still quite hot. And then take some alcohol. This is 50-50 uh, isopropyl water in a microfiber cloth. And clean the surface off. And take some rubber cement or contact cement and Apply a little bit to the area that you're going to glue your label onto. Doesn't take very much. Put it on both the ESC and the back of the label. 
And once your contact cement dries, you can take the label, place it on your ESC, and it will be permanently affixed to your ESC. Then take some poly acrylic and a foam brush and you can waterproof this label. So once this poly acrylic dries, you'll have a waterproof label that's extremely durable and you can tell exactly what kind of uh, ESC you have, what kind of processor you have, what kind of firmware you have on it and which firmware file that you used.